All right, with the paper tall and skinny, I'm gonna take one corner. I'm gonna bring it down so that this edge and this edge line up. It takes a little practice and you want it to be a point right there. Straight up and down. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and then this extra rectangle part here, I don't need. So I'm gonna cut right along the edge there. Now this piece we're going to use later, so don't throw it away. Just move it out of the way. And then when you open this back up, what shape do you have? And we're actually going to be using these two triangles. And so <clears throat> this line right here, you need to darken it with a crayon. Any color will work, but darker colors are easier to see. Yellow is not very easy to see. And you want to make a fat line on this diagonal here because you want the crayon to be on this triangle, but also on that triangle. And so, I'm gonna make a really fat line down the middle there. And I'll know it's done well if I have crayon on both sides of the fold. Yep, definitely on that side, and definitely on that side. Now, I'm gonna cut it up the middle. Now, we have two, but we only need one, so I'll move this one out of the way. Now we're gonna lay it like the letter L. You see that makes an L there with your color showing. And then I'm gonna take the whole thing and I'm gonna flip it over. So now it's a backwards L. What did I do? I took the L with the color on it and I just flipped it the other way, okay? And now I'm gonna lay a pencil across the bottom and you just kinda of pick up this edge here and I'm gonna roll it up and it takes some practice. The tighter it is, the better. And if you start going kind of over here too much, that, that's not the way it's supposed to be, so I'm gonna back it up. You really want this to follow the line all the way up. There we go, see how it's staying with the line? You can adjust it as you need to. I need to adjust that a little bit. Let the pencil slide out. If it's too tight, you can let it loose in your hand a little bit. The pencil comes out, and there you go. Now I'm gonna glue it. However, see that big nasty thing right there? That's somebody else's glue they left on the table. So I'm gonna take that rectangle we talked about earlier, and I'm gonna put this over the rectangle. And that way, when I glue, it's gonna go on the paper and not on the table. And I'm just going to take that and roll it over. And I have myself a candy cane. No, a screw. And once you put that glue on there and you roll it on with the glue, you want to hold it for a good five seconds or longer. I mean, you can even push it down flat if you need to. Just hold it on there so it has time to dry. And then you can curl it back around like that. Now we're also gonna use this extra rectangle paper here um, to show the difference between a nail and a screw. These are sharp, so please be responsible. Please don't poke yourself or anybody else. Don't even pretend to. Um, however, um, we're gonna poke the paper. And the trick to it is you just wanna make a V with your two fingers here, and you wanna poke between. And there you go, see how the nail goes in and out, right? And then with the screw, the same thing, except I'm only gonna poke the little tip part through, not all the way. Again, I've got my two fingers apart like that. I'm gonna just gently, just a tiny little hole there. I'm gonna put that in there. And now instead of pushing, I'm gonna twist, just twisting. And you'll see on the other end, do, 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 do. Now it takes longer, but it's really easy. It takes very little force. And then how do I get it back out? Lefty Lucy to the left. And you can actually watch it come undone. And then righty tighty. Now if I try and pull this one out, it's gripped on there really well, as opposed to the nail, which slides in and slides out. So if you're in a hurry, stick a nail in it. <laughs> but if you have the time, put a much stronger screw in and turn it 
so that it grips and lasts much longer.